circular coil apparatus determination of dipole moment of a given bar magnet using the circular coil apparatus we are provided with a circular coil apparatus a circular coil with a compass box at the center and a magnet is given which can be placed at any point on the axial line of the uh, circular coil now let us discuss the theory involved in the determination of dipole moment of a magnet using a circular coil now we are provided with the circular coil and the magnet now when this particular circular coil is arranged in such a way that the plane of the coil is along the magnetic meridian and if a current i is passing through the circular coil which is having n number of turns it produces a magnetic field having a strength given by mu zero n a square i divided by 2 a square plus x square all raised to 3 by 2 where i is the current flowing n is the number of turns of the coil and a is the radius of the coil and x is a particular distance along the axis and uh, this value of magnetic field is the field produced at that particular point now this field is nullified with the help of a bar magnet which is placed along the axis of the circular coil so that the field produced by the bar magnet along its axial line is mu zero by 4 pi 2 md divided by d square minus l square the whole square now when the compass box placed at the distance x shows a zero deflection both the two fields are nullified so we can equate these two equations the field produced by the bar magnet on its axial line and the field produced by the circular current carrying circular coil on its axial line. Now from this particular expression we can determine the moment of the magnet where m is the moment of the magnet it is given by pi n a square i d square minus l square the whole square divided by d into a square plus x square the raised to 3 by 2 where uh, in the case of uh, the axial line when the field is produced uh, L is the length of the magnet and M is the moment of the magnet and the D the distance of the center of the magnet from the center of the compass box. So knowing all these quantities number of turns so radius of the coil the current through the coil and the distance X the distance D where the magnet is placed and the length of the magnet we can determine the magnetic moment M. Now coming to the procedure this uh, experimented setup uh, initially we are arranging the circular coil with its plane along the magnetic meridian for that the coil is arranged or the compass box is rotated so that zero zero line is along the plane of the coil then the wall apparatus is rotated so that the aluminum pointer reads zero zero that is the arrangement uh, to place the circular coil along the magnetic meridian then the compass box is placed at a, a distance of say 3 centimeter or 6 centimeter from the center of the coil. Then a current is plus, uh, passed. The current is noted. The current value is decided such that the deflection is between 30 and 60. So this is the experiment arrangement here. This is a circular coil. The compass box is placed at a distance of x. Now the compass box is showing a certain deflection. Now. We are placing a magnet along the axial line itself such that the compass box uh, reads a zero zero reading. That means the field produced by the circular coil is nullified by the field due to the magnet on its axial line. Now we can repeat the experiment for the same setup of X by interchanging the position of the commutator that is initially when we are putting the key 1 and 3 we can see the current is passing like this it reaches at this particular point now the key one is closed so the current is flowing through the circular coil in the anti clockwise direction it reaches at the point three and it reaches at this particular point and the circuit is completed now when the commutator is reversed that means when we are plugging the key four and two we can see that the current reaches at this particular point it reaches here then the current is flowing through the circular coil in the an uh, clockwise direction so the direction of field is changed so that is we are repeating in that case we have to reverse the magnet also then we are getting uh, another value of d so we are getting two d values 
Now this experiment is repeated uh, by placing this particular compass box on the other side. Maybe initially it is in the eastern side. Now it is placed on the western side at the same distance x. Then we are obtaining a deflection for a particular current. Then the magnet is placed. Current is flowing in one direction. D value is noted. Then the commutator is interchanged. Again the magnet is to be reversed. Then again noted the value of D. So, for a particular value of current, we can have 4 d values and the mean v, uh, d, uh, mean d value is noted and x value v knows and knowing all other terms, the magnetic moment m is calculated using this formula. So, that is the uh, experimental setup for this particular experiment. Now, coming to the observation table column as we mentioned, uh, we can vary the current through the circuit. Similarly, also we can change the distance, but usually we are keeping the distance that is the distance of the compass box from the center of uh, the circular coil that is usually kept a constant value for example say 6 centimeter. Now, we can uh, vary the current initially let, let the current will be 0.2 ampere. Now, for the distance for null deflection we already mentioned how we are getting uh, 4 readings. Now, initially we are getting the reading 1 then commutator is reversed that is a reading 2. So, these 1 and 2 are when the compass box is placed on the eastern side. Now, the compass box is placed at the same distance 6 centimeter on the western side, the same current flows. Then we are getting the reading 3, that means the distance d of the magnet uh, to get a null deflection. Now, the commutator is reversed, then we are getting the reading 4, and the mean d is calculated and the m is determined. Now, the experiment is repeated for another value of current, say 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, etc. And each time we can determine the magnetic moment and the mean value of the magnetic moment is determined. Now, coming to the experimental setup, the connections are made as given in the circuit. Now, here there is a circular coil. The circular coil is included in the circuit with the help of a commutator. So, we are using a commutator here. Now, from the two opposite ends, uh, the circular coil is inserted in the circuit. Then, through the commutator, uh, a battery, a battery is involved, then it is connected to an ammeter to read the current, then from the ammeter to a rheostat is included, the rheostat is connected to the uh, commutator and the circuit is completed connecting to the negative of the battery. So, that is the circuit arrangement. Now, we can place the compass box on one side with the help of a stand and the magnet with the help of another stand that provision is there. We can place the compass box at a distance of x and the magnet at a distance of d. Now, for the initial arrangements, we have to perform the initial arrangement of the circular coil. For that, two arrangements are there. The first one is we have to rotate the compass box. We can rotate the compass box freely. So, rotate the compass box such that a 90-90 line, we have to find the 90-90 line that 90-90 line, 190 is here and the other 90 is here. That is 90-90 line is in the plane of the circular coil. So, that is the first arrangement. Rotate the compass box alone. So, that 90-90 line is in the plane of the coil. Now, we want to rotate the whole apparatus. The, uh, the whole circular coil apparatus can be rotated such that the aluminum pointer reads 0, 0. Initially, there is no current in the circuit. We are rotating the apparatus. Now, the aluminum pointer reads, now we can observe the aluminum pointer here, here the reading is 0 and here also the reading is 0. So, the aluminum pointer reads 0, 0. So, we can mark the position of the uh, circular coil on the table. Now, the circular coil is arranged along the magnetic meridian north south direction, this is the north south direction and this should be the east west direction. Now, we are placing the uh, compass box at a distance say here we are taking the distance uh, from the center of the compass box to the center of the circular coil and that distance we can measure here and uh, now that is 6 centimeter that means from the center of uh, the circular coil to the center of the compass box. So, the compass box is shifted and it is placed at a distance of uh, 6 centimeter without uh, other disturbance the compass box is placed at a distance of 6 centimeter. Now, the distance from the uh, center of the circular coil to the center of the compass box is actually it can be measured here. 
the center of the compass box is marked here and the center of the circular coil at that distance is 6 centimeter. Now, we are passing the current through the circuit for that jockey is given contact, jockey is given contact we can adjust the rheostat, the rheostat can be adjusted here. So, that we can send a current of uh, say now we are sending a current of 0 0.2 ampere by adjusting the rheostat we are sending a current of say 0 0.2 ampere through the circular coil. Now, we are getting a certain deflection that deflection no need to mark the deflections, but here we are getting a deflection of about 20 or 35. So, we are getting two deflections. Now, we are bringing the magnet on the uh, western side for that the arrangement is there stand is there. Uh, the magnet should be placed perfectly along the axial line. So, for that we are having a stand arrangement is there. The magnet is brought and it is kept on the same height, uh, it should be kept on the same height. Now, we have to find out in which direction the magnet is to be placed. So, that the deflection should be equal to uh, 0, uh, the deflection is get cancelled. Now, we can change the distance of the magnet by moving the magnet, uh, we can change the distance. So, that now we are changing the distance, so that the deflection should be equal to 0. Now, we are changing the distance. Now, here, now what happens then? Uh, here we are obtaining the deflection 0, that means the field produced by the circular coil is now nullified by the magnet. Now, we want to measure the distance that is d. Now, we are measuring the d that is from the center of the compass box to the center of the magnet. So, here we obtain a distance of say 24.8. 24.8 as the distance uh, that is the distance d. So, we obtain this d value once. Now, we are interchanging that means, uh, the commutator is reversed, the commutator is reversed, then current is reversed in the circuit. Then we have to, uh, we are supposed to reverse the magnet also, we have to reverse the magnet also. Then arrange the magnet once again, move the magnet once again, so that the deflection is again 0, deflection is again 0. Now, the deflection is almost 0 here, deflection is 0 here. The current will be the same that is 0 0.2, we are measuring the distance once again, the distance is measure, measure, uh, measured once again. Now, again I am getting a reading of say 24.7, 24.7 as the reading. So, that is the second value of D. Now, to obtain the third value of D, uh, we are placing the compass box on the other side at the same distance say 6 centimeter, on the other side at the same distance 6 centimeter. Now, the magnet is also moved to the other side, other side. Then again the same value of current is passed. Now, there is a deflection, the magnet is placed such that uh, the deflection is 0. Now, for that we have to move the a magnet, the magnet is moved, the distance is arranged. Now, find out for which distance we are getting a 0 deflection. Now, we obtained a 0 deflection here. Now, the uh, pointer gives 0 deflection that means, the field produced by the coil is nullified by the magnet. Now, we have again we have to measure the distance from the center of the magnet to the center of the coil. Now, here we are getting a distance of say 25 centimeter, that is 25 centimeter. Here we obtain 24.8 and 24.7, now it is 25. Now, once again the commutator is reversed, the current is reversed, then the magnet is also reversed, the magnet is also reversed. Again, adjust the magnet so that the deflection is again 0. Now, again the deflection is 0, so we are getting one more d value again from the center of the magnet to the center of the compass box that is again 25, uh, 25 centimeter. So, we obtain 4 values of D, uh, 1, 2 values in the western side and 2 value in the eastern side. Now, we want to uh, repeat the experiment for that we are not changing the value of uh, x, the x is same as uh, 6 centimeter. Now, the current through the circuit is changed. Now, let us change the current through the circuit, the rheostat is moved. So, that the current in the circuit is say 0.3 ampere, 
the current in the circuit is now the current in the circuit is 0.3 ampere 0.3 ampere now again we are placing the magnet on the same side that is on the western side now we want to find out the uh, distance uh, for which we have to get the zero deflection now the distance uh, we are we are moving the magnet so that uh, the deflection should be uh, zero now we are moving the magnet so that we have to get a deflection of zero now the current is change current is 0 0.3 so we are supposed uh, the deflection will be more and the distance will be reduced because we have to bring the magnet more close then only uh, it becomes uh, there is a zero deflection now i am getting a reading of uh, for this particular value of current now the uh, distance is 21.8 only from the center of the compass box to the center of the magnet the distance is uh, 21.8 only now for this particular current that is 0.3 uh, we are interchanging the commutator is changed reversed then the magnet is also supposed to be reversed then again adjust the magnet again adjust the magnet so that the deflection is zero the deflection is zero deflection is zero again i obtained a zero deflection then the distance is measured as d that d is equal to again uh, 22 i obtained so two values of d i obtained for a particular value of current that is current i is equal to 0.3 ampere now for the same current place this compass box on the other side other side place the magnet also on the other side find the two two more d values then we are getting four d values now again we are repeating uh, for another value of current say 0.4 ampere uh, 0.5 ampere 0.6 ampere keeping the distance same and each time you are obtaining four values of d and the mean value of d is calculated and from that the magnetic moment m is determined now we require uh, the number of turns of the coil now this particular coil is having a number of turns 33 and with the help of a string we are finding the circumference the circumference is 70.6 here now from that circumference value we determine the value of the radius of the coil so we know all the quantities n the radius a of the coil the distance x uh, to the compass box that is 6 centimeter then each case the value of d is calculated or determined and from the value of d we determine the value of moment of the magnet now let us discuss uh, the result that we obtain with the with a sample set of observations so we performed the experiment for a current of 0.2 and the distance we kept at 6 centimeter so initially we obtained the distance d1 as 28.4 when the commutator is reversed we obtain 28.4 again then when the compass box is placed on the other side we obtain a distance of 27.7 and when the commutator is reversed we obtain 27.7 so the mean distance d is 27.815 then using the earlier formula for the moment calculation uh, the moment is calculated uh, using all the known values the moment is 2.48493 then the experiment is repeated for another value of current that is 0.3 the distance should be the same now what happens the distance d is reduced uh, it is having a value of 24.3 24.3 .3, 24 and 23.5 the mean value is 24.025 d so using that value of d the moment is calculated again that is 2.390 now it is repeated for 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 current etc each time the moment is determined and the mean moment is 2.389 so that is the result of our experiment